All right, welcome to the next episode. So, if you watched the last video, you saw that we got the floor done, so the foundation's done, and we got one of the side walls framed. So what I'm gonna start doing today is I'm gonna frame the rest of the walls, hopefully. I need to set one more post right here, just because I wanna be extra sure that we've got plenty of support all the way around. And hopefully, with a little bit of assistance, I can get all the walls up, and maybe even get started on the roof trusses today. So one thing I haven't really talked about is how I'm building this cabin. Obviously, it's just a stick frame, two by four walls. Uh, our foundation, you saw that, it's two by sixes, set in posts in the ground, just because it's pretty unlevel up here. And when I was looking, when we were looking to build a cabin up here, I started looking at some of the prefab cabins that you can buy, mostly by like companies that build sheds and uh, stuff like that. So that's kind of exactly what I wanted, but the location here, there's no way to get it here. So I have to see when I'm done, but I have a feeling it might have been cheaper to buy one of those prefab cabins and get it up here. And a lot of the ones around here, they're Amish built and they're actually really, really, really nice. Uh, really good construction, but that's not really an option. I would have had to create a huge driveway just to get here, which would have cost way more than the cabin itself. So definitely not worth that. So um, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, this isn't supposed to be a you know million dollar, no expense spared cabin. This is supposed to be a shed construction type cabin, some place that we can just go out to the property, take a couple days, kind of live off grid, you know, kind of rough it and enjoy life in a more simplistic form than what we're doing today. So that's the whole reason we're building this. I wanted to spread it way out, but now that I've got going, I just want to get the structure up. And then once I get the structure up, I'm really going to want to get a roof on it and get siding. I can worry about the inside anytime, but I really want to get that stuff done. That way it's protected from the elements and we can get moving on things. Obviously until next spring, I'm going to have to wait. It's the middle of winter now. I'm going to have to wait to do, you know, painting and all that type of stuff. But I think we got a good start going here. So like I said, hopefully I can get it framed out today. And that's my goal. So I think what I'm going to do here, to make it easier, I went ahead and pre-cut a lot of these uh, stringers because of the same size for all the walls. Um, so I'm going to try to start bringing them out here and just laying them in place. And once I get everything in place, I'll just basically clone the wall we already built except you know the double wrapper be on the other side and that way these two walls are ready to go should be pretty easy
All right, so framing this wall took a lot of work because I had to rough in the window and the door, obviously, on the front. The windows on the sides, I'll just rough in later from the inside. Now we're going to drag this this way and stand it up and get it in place. Go golf cart, carry a load. Sun's going down fast, but I'm gonna try to get this porch framed out. I gotta do a little cleaning up with the saw on the plywood. Get some of the rafters put in here. Get a couple, just a couple deck boards on. That way I can attach the four by four posts and frame out the front of the porch before I can start putting the roof rafters on. shed. The reason I said that is because I'm putting this siding on kind of like how you would build a shed. So I'm going to start, I'm going to put it across the front because when I go to put on the rafters for the roof, it'll be much easier if this is already on. So that's why I'm doing that. So I cut the front here to 90. It'll fit right at the top. I'm just going to nail it in place. Well, the sun's going down. I got to get this cleaned up. That's all for today. There's a gap here because that's where the door is. So I'll route that out, cut this out, and get the windows out. But for now, it's actually providing protection. So I had to get the side, like I said, to get the siding on so I can get the uh, rafters for the porch done tomorrow. Uh, that'll be the first thing I do first thing in the morning. And it's supposed to rain. All right, well, it's 8 a.m. The sun's coming up. We got rain coming later today. I'm gonna try to get the top of the porch roof framed in. To do that, I gotta get some of these deck boards down, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So, I'm just starting to cut those uh, deck boards, but where the door is gonna be cut, the siding's not fastened and it's bowed out right there, so it's not gonna let the deck boards go on. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the door and window out of the front real quick.
right, so we've got the porch framed. So the next thing is to create the large truss that's gonna run, run along the middle, the, the peak of the roof. So it's gonna be 24 foot long, two by six. For now. All right, so I went ahead and got some temporary two by four uprights. I'm going to go with a four foot. It was going to be a three foot for a 612 pitch roof. But I really like the extra foot. It's going to add, give that cabin look, a nice tall pitch roof. Here's the beam. I'm going to use two 12 footers and use thick steel plates on both sides rated for structural. And there'll be additional bracing across the middle. That's just kind of to hold everything in place. So now it's time maybe to get some raptors started. I think I'm going to end this video here because it's supposed to rain. So I'm going to go ahead and try to plan to get the tarp over it before it rains. And if I have some time, I can pull the tarp back and start doing raptors. But that'll be in the next video. So until next time, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Be sure to subscribe to see the next video. And we'll see you next time.